The Los Angeles men's cup final is underway. France, of course, in their blue shirts. Great Britain, red, white and blue. And they will have early possession here. Ethan Waddleton to fellow Englishman Jamie Barden. Never have Great Britain in HSBC 7s won a cup final. History on the line here tonight in LA. Waddleton holds on. Good tackle from Rabaj. He's been excellent for France. This weekend, they get the counter up and they get the opening penalty. Yes, yeah, through they go. Rabaj and Perez goes quick. Here's Zaydar. This big number eight has been impressive for them, but the pass was at the feet of Pasquet. He couldn't hold on, so that's a give back for GP. Yeah, Zegdar just talking to a skipper there. There was confusion in the midfield. Riva went into the switch right there. A little hard to tell on that angle, but Nick Hogan's got a better view of it. Great Britain did play in a cup file in the shortened COVID-affected Sevens World Series in Edmonton in Canada. But this, with all the big guns on deck, is their first. Alex Davis, Tokyo Olympian. Five. On the loose head side of the scrum for GB. Sit. Kaleem Barreto, Scotsman, will feed it. France try and put the pressure on. It's a good shove from them, but it's a penalty. Not pushing straight is the call, and Barreto wants to put some pace on the game. Here's his captain, Robbie Ferguson, who's led this team brilliantly in LA this weekend. Barreto, quick ball. Waddleton, Barden in midfield. Davis, he's got the Welshman. Morgan Williams to his left. Big hit coming in from it. Tons Zedar. Makes a few more yards through contact, though, there, Alex Davis, Release. and they get another penalty. Not releasing is the call. Plan here from Great Britain seems to play with pace in this final. Here's Barreto, lovely feet from him. Bright opening for the Scotsman early on here. Barden came on in the semi final and was crucial to the outcome to get them here. Morgan Williams has seen some space in behind. Big tackle from Rabaj had to be made. Zaydar wants a steal, doesn't get it. Barreto surveys his option, goes to Alex Davis, who again runs it into contact. Barreto calling for another decision. He's not going to get it this time. Here's Ethan Waddleton. Morgan Williams in midfield. Zaydar again with the tackle. So much early possession here for Great Britain. Looking for the opening score in the cup final. There's Emery. Good defence again from France. Their D has been excellent with the LA7s. One of the bigger reasons they got here. Slightly high tackle. Not too high, says the referee. Pasquet and Joseph looking for the turnover. And they have stolen the ball. They will get the decision. How about that D, KT? Oh, it's been fantastic, this scramble in front of, especially in front of their line. Zegdar goes around, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's the flood at the breakdown, which was impressive. The timing was fantastic. Looks like they keep their feet right there. And it's Pasquet, you've got to start it, and then the heat comes in behind him. The tension here for Alex Davis, who carried the ball in a contact several times in that sequence. He's going to come off the field, and Charlton Kerr in number 24 will replace him. So the last time France won a cup final in the series, their only time was 2005 in Paris. Come on. We're going to have to rotate their bench, that's for sure, in this final. They've got so many injuries, they've got no option but... Five. Six. So Stefan Perez feeds the scrum right in midfield for France. The ball's loose and the captain, Pauline Riva, does well to scoop it up. Now France can put the ball through the hands. Here's Zaydar, who's been very impressive. And this is often the man who finds the space to use his pace. Jordan Sefo from Stade Francais. Rayan Rabage from Toulon gets the ball away. Was that forward? No, says the referee. Went flat. And Perez almost breaks through. Loose ball and Barreto's onto it. No, there was a knock on. Was there the stare there from Rocky, Robbie Ferguson at the referee? There's Wysali Serebi, the great man. He actually scored for Fiji in the cup final in Paris in 
in 2005, 19 years ago, when France won that solitary gold medal they picked up on the series. Oh, an absolute legend, Hall of Famer. Yeah, to say the best Evans player ever, Waisali Sarevi. And there are the standings, as I said, an unlikely cup final, giving their rankings coming in. It's been a weekend of upsets here in Los Angeles. Crouch. Often see that, the second of two events back to back. Five. And this GB team are doing so well because they've Sit. effectively lost four players to injury. Effectively with nine in their squad at the moment, unless Sofalaren can back up. Here's Valiant Pasque for France, puts it over the top to Joseph. It was a very casual pass. It's still alive. They try to offload. It's been hacked over the end line. I think they're just rushing things a little bit too much at the moment. They're forcing these passes that aren't on. Leading up to us. This is a great scrum set off move. Time. Off the scrum, scrum the inside them. ball. Just carry there. That's what they've been doing so well previously. Yeah. It's good to just be able to control it. But then the skipper doesn't need to give that one. Just hold it. Still no score in the cup final. France have lost six straight final appearances since that win in Paris so long ago. There's a Parisian. Varian Pasque was unable to find his support player there. This is where GB want to live though, just keep it close any way they can, rotate and then strike an opportunity there. Barreto, he has been key in this final for Great Britain so far. No titles for GB, but England have won twice in the USA when they were playing alone. Scotland back to back in London. Wales, of course, Rugby World Cup of Sevens winners in 09 in Dubai. But now is GB there looking for their first. It looks like Tom Emery might have popped a hamstring or a calf and the, the ball's loose and Buddy and Pasquet's onto it. Big defence coming in from Great Britain as Pasquet tried to charge through. Rabadge is there. Look at the numbers in this breakdown for Great Britain. If France can spin this out, they could be in business. Zadar uses the step. Zadar, the spin and the score. Antoine Zadar, the Monegasque, with the opening try in the Los Angeles Cup final. I was going to take something special to break this defence. Oh no, that's the worst thing ever for Tom Emery. He's got a feel for him. Try to get it out to his skipper. Hold on. And then yeah, France and Zadar, the strength, the hit and spin. He's an absolute sniper. Yeah, perfect. We'll just move him from under the post. Okay, so we're going to check out what the situation is with the GB benches, Emery. That's sad to see. He battled back from a serious leg injury a couple of seasons yeah. ago. Yeah, if you go that way. So that's the GB we bench. It's just Sean Lamont, the manager, and AJ Alex Davis at the moment. Femi Sofalaren's on the field, the number 13, but he injured his knee earlier on in the tournament. France get France the extra two, off. so seven nothing to France. Final seconds of this first half. Bottom. Still, thing is, they're only seven points behind. If they yeah, hold to the half, you'd take that with the amount of injuries they got. Yeah, now they just got to dig in and hold here, Team GB. Actually, Sofalaren's yeah. on the side of the field. We saw him in shot there next to Davis, but yeah, his shirt's off now, so he might well be coming so on. So he's got blood. We just need to wipe the blood off his face. So there's a potential blood bin here as well for Great Britain. There's Tony Roach, the head coach. You yeah. think about it, this guy is definitely injured. But he's going to man up and helmet up right here to get on for his team. Have to. Scored the winner in the quarterfinal. Femi Sofalaren thought his tournament was done. We thought so. He said in his post-match interview, we're playing with ten and a half players. He was the half. Yeah, it's a pretty lonely space, isn't it? But you know what? These are the things under adversity you find out what you've got. He was actually born in the USA. Yeah, he saw Polaren. What a thrill it would be for him to win a Los Angeles title. He's desperate to get out there. You can see the strapping on the left knee. They are the walking wounded in Los Angeles. Our great Britain. He's going to give it a go. What a story, though, if they're able to get up. I know that's a long way from that. Come on. But oh, my goodness. We're back underway. Stefan Perez with the restart. Almost taken brilliantly in the air by Antoine Zadar. It's gone by forward. 
play. Yes. We will have a feed to this scrum before half time. Oh, Barreto just pulled up then. Also, hopefully it's just cramp off the restart. But this is the moment. Do you just kick it out? And go to half time, seven points behind, or do you have a nudge? Well, France went down to five in there quarter final but that was because of cards not injuries managed to battle their way through Five. last night to get through to the semi-final this morning sit got past Ireland by two points in that here's Barreto let's hope he's okay feeds the scrum more power comes on from France they're targeting that area but again it's the penalty to Great Britain you don't end a half on a penalty so we will continue And yet, yeah, Robbie Ferguson, all things considered, he's going to put it over the sideline. They'll take their medicine there, Great Britain. They'll have a conversation and they'll see what they can do about this seven point deficit in the cup final to France. His arrival is imminent. Jordan Seffo does well to put it down to Jefferson Lee Joseph. Trying to get his knees to the floor and turn this into a tackle. He does so with a bit of help from Rayan Rabaj. Now France get the penalty, not releasing as the call. Well, interesting what they do here. Do they go to the sideline and use their line out? A lot of teams like to scrum. Looks like I'm doing a set move here. I like this. Keep it in hand. So Perez just taking his time here. Gives it to. Ryan Rabaj, Rivas to his left, and they'll go back to Perez in behind Zayda to Varian Pasquet with the tape around his head now. He's got Joseph to his right. Do France have the killer instinct they need here? Great Britain are wounded. They've got another penalty, and now they go quickly. Zayda, Rabaj just surveys his options. Ball in two hands. Now some pace for Sefo. Jordan Sefo can't get away from Barreto holding onto his ankle for dear life there. France leading by seven. Men's Cup final in Los Angeles. There's the offload to Joseph. And another one back to Zayda. And another one to Rebush. Brilliant hands. Oh, and again. And Perez dives in for France's second. A bit of Jue Jue in the Cup final. Why don't you? But look at this great continuity. The offloading, I was waiting for it. They were punching and counter-punching both teams, but in the end, France throw their flair amongst it. And a Stefan Perez, the point guard this weekend, who sends it long. The man who's had to sit on the bench when Antoine Dupont's been starting, he has lifted, lifted to the challenge. He adds the extra two points. And there is Antoine Dupont, head coach Jerome Durez said, right, it's time to take the Ferrari out of the garage in the Come cup on. final. Oh, the closer, here he comes. Two scores ahead, what can he weave? You know he's going to have some influence on this game. Antoine Dupont, he's directly created six of their 21 tries ahead of this game. Scored three, assisted three. Riva goes slightly long, but Zadar got there. Went forward and now Barreto can play for Great Britain down 14 nil now. Plenty of time. Spanish for the knock on over. Little mirth around the crowd as he loses his shorts, but an opportunity on the far side now. The big Charlton Kerr, but he can't hold on to the ball. Did it go backwards? No, it did go forward. And that's again the defense from this French outfit. It has been the key this weekend when they've been under pressure. Well, that's what they've been able to uses their foundation to launch off. Here's the loose handle. Finally, they get it to the edge of the act. We're trying to fend them off. It's great work to knock the ball out. Charlton Curry was a 400 meter athlete in his youth and he was wanting to run it in from 80 there. More changes for France. Andy Timo has joined the forwards here, number 88. I reckon something's going to happen around DuPont, wrapping around the bracket. They're going to have players Cross. in motion and get him coming. That full noise. Barreto's talking to him too. Five. Bit of chat from Colleen Barreto for Antoine Six. DuPont. Why not? He feeds the scrum on the right-hand side of the scrum, Early. as we've seen on that far side of the field. A little unorthodox. They get another decision. 
Might call for another scrum here. All going to go sideline. Here we go. Use their big boys. They've got a big line out. They certainly do. And that man will throw the line out. This is one of the new skills he's had to learn since coming to sevens. I know it's a bit far out, but even look for the drive on this occasion. We've got such a big front three. Antoine Dupont with just under four minutes to go in the Los Angeles Cup final. Comes around the corner, juggles it. Still on. He's lost possession in contact. That was a really good tackle from Jamie Barton, I think, for Great Britain. And here's Will Homer now. Changes Barton's direction over. to Colleen Barreto. He's got Dupont in front of him, but Theo Fournier does his job defensively. Morgan Williams wrestling, wrestling to the floor. They get the ball back. Now the counter up from France and the penalty comes. Oh, hang on, hang on. Fournier wanted to go quick. Morgan Williams didn't let him. And Great Britain are down to six. Oh, to be fair, he did this for sure. You can't do it. You can't do it in that situation. They're under pressure. It's a funny thing what pressure does to players. Time off. All the injuries, and he's been time's off, boys. Time's, yeah, time's outstanding off. for Great Britain. Four tries this weekend. Thank you. Morgan Williams, but he'll have to watch on from the sideline for two minutes. Iraguha has come on the field for France at half. Now that puts the point in the playmaker role. First receiver directly behind the scrum. Well, we saw Antoine Dupont Five. play for Toulouse at fly half in 15s a few weeks Six. ago in the top 14. He was absolutely brilliant. Iraguha under pressure there from Barreto. They forced the penalty. Got the ball back and they desperately need it. Here they go quickly. 2.40 to go. Down by 14. Two converted tries. Alex Davis, who was so clear with his advice at half time for this team. Here's Barden again for Charlton Kerr. Needs to stay in field here under the attentions of Timo. Dupont now going in for the steal. Alex Davis, good tackle from Iraguha. Now France again go in. Dupont was involved as well as Pasquet. Now he goes quickly, Antoine Dupont. Riva, cut out ball to Theo Fournier. Theo Fournier, still alive for Joseph. Alex Davis on defence with Ferguson. They've held him up. That's brilliant defence from Great Britain. Well, that's what the skipper was talking about defensively. Robbie Fergus the same, working your three, stay tight. They did that Team GB, that's a great save. We didn't get it down, he's just checking if he's gone out and goal to get the right call. Yeah, in sevens, it's a, it's a five-metre scrum if you're held up. So it is an important decision. He's out there, isn't it? It's that left shoulder. It depends when it stops. Nick, I have a decision. Yes. No try. Held up. Scrum five. Held okay. up. Five minutes. Yeah, so held up is the call, and it will be an attacking scrum for France. Unlike 15, you don't have goal line drop it's dropouts in seven, so still a razor sharp attacking opportunity here for the French. Oh, France, score cool here. It's going to be tough to come back six. with the yellow card. Remember, GB down to six. Iraguha, Dupont. Fournier juggles it, swings it out to Aaron Grandidier, a former England Sevens Academy player against Great Britain here in the final. Fournier, change of direction to Dupont, thinks about the cross kick and then rips it wide to Andy Timo, the 19-year-old with the big right foot step. He's still going, shoved forward by his captain. Pasquet, Dupont, Dupont, double clutch, Fournier. And that could well be that in the cup final for France. And it's another try assist to Anton Dupont. Fakes to go long, sees the hole, and then puts it on a platter for Theo Fournier. And it's going to be Ale La Bleu tonight here in Los Angeles. So difficult to defend at the best of times.
but the yellow card to Morgan Williams. The power play for France, they take full advantage and they now lead the cup final by 21 points to nil and look at the smiles. Jerome Dare there, Stefan Perez with big hugs for Remy Louis. The physiotherapist. 19 years, KT. That's a long time between drinks for a gold medal on the circuit. But they deserve it. And what's impressive is the zero they've kept in this final. It's been a real staple this weekend, their defense. Heraguha restarts play. Final 10 seconds now. Sofa Lahren basically playing on one leg. Valiant of him to be out there even. Barreto spins it out to Alex Davis. And Great Britain will want to finish on a high here. They'll keep going. Here is Sofa Lahren. Came up with the winner after that injury in the quarterfinal. Put on the ground by Dupont there. Morgan Williams out of the sin bin. They're playing with seven here. Dupont with the tackle. He gets up, works the turnover. Sofa Lahren. Great Britain have done brilliantly to even get here. All their injuries they've had at this tournament. Tenth ranked team coming in, but they'll get big points out of this. 18 series points. And that'll help their survival chances no end indeed. Still on for Great Britain to find something at the end. Williams steps inside Dupont. Will Homer thinks about the kick, gives it to his captain. He will kick Robbie Ferguson. And he has to chase it himself and getting back is Aaron Grandidier. It's a loose ball. Ferguson's there almost hacking it forward. Heraguha arrives and all France have to do now is get the ball away from this breakdown. Get it off the field. France are Los Angeles champions. Antoine Dupont mobbed by his teammates. This new star of Rugby Sevens has already won a title in just his second event. The 19-year wait is over for the French men. They have picked up the gold medal here in the USA and in Olympic year, no less, where they will host the world in Paris in July. And that's what it's all about. Dupont's Olympic Odyssey.